Hey, peace and love, family. I want to do a new kind of video today. Might even be the first of this kind. Um, but I want to break it down for everybody. Um, how to proclaim your nationality for free. You know, and I'm going to give a couple ways on how to do this here. Um, I'm going to go into public and private as well. Just to, you know, make sure we tap in all of the specific points, you know. And I'm going to give general descriptions now, but, you know, for anyone that is looking to go deeper or looking to actually get some credentials besides just uh, proclaiming your nationality and putting it on the record, uh, you can definitely hit me up, Walter Bay, the number seven more at gmail.com. Now, uh, what we have here is a common law name change. Now, uh, these can be filed on the record in one of your local county courts for free. Uh, you might have to call around or go around a couple places and find out because there's different ways of doing it. And, um, you know, also, you know, if you need this document, you know, you could also hit me up, you know, and I don't charge for this particular document. I send it to everyone that is trying to get my services and proclaim their nationality, I, I send this to them absolutely free. Now, uh, if you want my services of, of getting the document sealed uh, through our organization, uh, you know, well, that's going to cost a little something, something, but, you know, it's not going to be too much where, you know, it hurts. You know, it's definitely going to be very, very reasonable. And, um, you know, I got this particular one filed on the record uh, in the local, I want to say that this was a justice of the peace court. Um, and they have like a criminal division where you can file for free. Um, but, um, also your county clerk, there are different places you can file affidavits and those type of things. And you may need a, a cover letter in some of these places, but you should be able to find somewhere, uh, to file it for free. Now, if you absolutely um, are not worried about that, you know, that's not an issue. If you have to come out a couple notes to file it, one place you can file it, um, that's the, one of the best places to file these type of documents is the counter recorder of deeds. Um, and that's because it's property records, you know, so... You know, and you can also get a file stamp copy of it a lot of times, and, and, and you get a file number in some cases also where if you need to, you can file other additional documents later on down the road uh, into that exact same file number. All right. Now, um, that's private on the common law side. You know, that won't necessarily be able to be used for public things but for your own private and personal things uh, you may be able to recover this document be because you do file it on the record um, and use it in the public for certain things uh, or one of them being court cases you know it's certain things that it might be applicable for you know to be able to show even if you don't have the public side change that you are more been operating you know for however long however many years you know in your national status you know that would definitely be a benefit of, of doing it that way now you could also go in and um do the petition for name change. Uh, they call it name change of an adult, uh, particularly in the county where I domicile. Pretty much going to be something very similar everywhere you go. Now, there are a few particular things um, that I'd say you want to add with their petition or write into the petition if you can um, 
so that you're declaring your nationality along with changing your name if you want to go that route. Uh, this route, which is the public route. Now, you know, if you operate in commerce and do things or and want to do things in your national name while you operate in commerce, let's say you drive trucks, do real estate, insurance, or any other type of public licensing, you know, maybe politicians, things of that sort, you know, you would absolutely have to go through this process here. And uh, it's definitely nothing wrong with changing your name in their courts. However, I would say um, there's a few things particularly that I would say for Moors that we would say wording in particularly that, that, that we should declare along with it to make sure it is um, beneficial to our status and status correction. So um, when we get the court order along with this, you can update all of your documents um, from here on and um, you'll have that court order backing up your words and your declarations along with, you know, your name change uh, in the court order and that being proof. And, um, you know, you can absolutely do this process for free as well. You know, um, just to show a little bit closer, uh, there is a price. Um, it, it was about two fifty and some change, but I definitely did not pay that when I walked in there. You know, and um, on here they call it uh, the Papyrus Oath, um, but they have a standard form here. I'm gonna show you a statement of inability to afford payment of court costs. Some jurisdictions will call it an affidavit instead of a statement or something along them lines. But, you know, if you don't have the notes to cough out, you know, and you want to do this process for free, you know, this is the public way that you can go of proclaiming your status absolutely free. You know, so... Yeah, y'all can't never say that I didn't tell y'all exactly how to do it absolutely free, you know, because I, I, I get people that say that, you know, I charge, you know, this and that. And, you know, I, I don't worry about what people say, really. I don't, you know, get into them kind of comments and arguments because, you know, the people that really work with me, they know how much value they're actually getting. And, you know, even still, I would say that, you know, my prices are you know, the lowest in the industry of status correction or estate planning because that's really all it is, you know. But um, last but not least, because if I didn't mention this, you know, I know I would be crucified. But if you can't get into a more Science Temple of America, that is another way to proclaim your nationality absolutely free and I absolutely recommend the organization that Noble Drew Ali started um, I would say if you get into a situation where you're in a temple that is not conducive to you if you can't find another one reach out to me and I might know someone in your area or and also, I'm working and in the midst of a project where we'll, we'll be having one out here as well. Uh, we're going to be opening up a temple pretty soon uh, in our jurisdiction as well. And I'm going to play some roles in it. I'm not going to be, you know, grand chic or anything like that there. That's not what I'm wishing to do. But, you know, I'm definitely recommending that for everybody, all of our people, we need that. You know, you, everyone needs to be in a temple and a temple that is productive. So, if you can, you know, get into one, get into your local one and, and, and be the change if you can. Um, reach out to me if you can't. Um, 
Uh, if anybody wants to go any further and get further credentials past um, what I've just shown right now, you know, which are just starting steps, you know, of status correction and proclaiming your nationality, um, you can definitely hit me up. Um, once again, my email, Walter Bay, the number seven more at gmail.com. Um, I can get your application for nationality card. Um, more information about status correction. You know, too much to even put in the words right right now. So, hit me up, people. Peace.